Today we're going to be discussing pidgin languages, what they are, and how they are created. Uh, before getting into their origins, what is a pidgin language? Because despite how it sounds, a pidgin has very little to do with how a bird communicates. These languages are fairly simple, that's their goal. Uh, they have the grammatical structure of one language, and they have the vocabulary of another. A perfect example of which is Fenal Fenagalo, which is a pidgin used by miners in the Gutang province of South Africa. Which, unlike most pidgins, which are sort of based on English, French, and Portuguese, Fenagalo Fenagala, Fenagala, is based from Zulu, and uh, I actually have a video example of it, so I'm going to play that for a bit. <laughs> So, then the question arises, well, why would you need a pidgin language? Why can't just both parties learn the same language? That should be much easier. Well, imagine for a second, if you will, you are a 16th century trader slash explorer. Maybe you're on a trade route and you're like, Oh, that looks like a neat island. I'm gonna go check it out. Because it's the age of exploration. You find an island inhabited by people that don't speak the same language as you. Neither of you want anything. So you just ignore each other and a pigeon language doesn't get created. Then you arrive on another island and you're out of food. You're tired. You're hungry. You might die from dysentery. Possibly scurvy. It is the age of exploration. So you see some local happens, and they like the look of a necklace you're wearing. And so you start figuring something out because both parties want something from the other one, and thus a form of communication becomes necessary. So you can slot words into grammar a lot easier than you can slot grammar into words. They're taking your vocabulary and they're using that to make a semblance of understandable speech. You might just go, that, this is water. And they go, oh, water, okay, cool, we know that. We've got our own word for it, but cool, that's water. It means that these two parties that originally could not communicate at all suddenly can now, and the trade can go underway. So that, that's it. That's what a pidgin language is. They're not very complicated, and that's sort of, again, that's their point. 